A parade of support outside a care home mourning one of its own. Christine Mandagarian, a personal support worker for 31 years, died this week of COVID-19. I can't really digest anything right now. I can't even imagine that she's gone. Mandagarian's family did not get to say goodbye. Hospital lockdowns barred them from visiting. In a cold room she died all by herself, all alone with kids not next to her, husband not next to her, nobody next to her. Across Ontario, more than 200 long-term care residents have died and about half of Canada's COVID-19 deaths overall have been linked to long-term care centres. A few weeks ago, these poor residents were, were smiling at us and it's so hard to, to lose them all so fast. Rebecca Piranin is a personal support worker at a home where at least 19 residents have died. We filmed her getting tested for COVID-19 last week. Her result was negative, but hundreds of care workers have fallen ill. Every day, she says, they work in grief and fear. We are the most vulnerable, but we are the closest connection to them outside their family. Oh, sorry. For those family members, the loss is unbearable. Debbie Gregan's father, Charles Lupton, died two days ago. He would welcome you with open arms no matter where you came from or what you did or how many times you did it. And he was just a great guy. As with so many families, Lupton's loved ones weren't allowed to be with him at the end. With physical distancing, they now mourn the central figure of their family alone. He was the one. He was the one. And now they're forced to live without him. Ellen Morrow, CBC News, Toronto.